Hi and welcome back. In today's video, we will be talking about Chainlink. This video is not a financial advice. It is just for educational and entertainment purpose only. So please do your own research. Without further ado, let's get into it. This is the website of Chainlink. You can access it by going to chain.link. As for the website, over here you can connect smart contracts with off-chain data and services. Their ecosystem would provide a tamper-proof inputs and outputs and various computations that will allow you to support uh, smart contracts on any blockchain out there. It has collaborated with Aave, Compound, Paxos, TruFi and so much more. You can use Chainlink to build your own hybrid smart contract. Track. The best part is that it is highly secure and flexible in terms of its infrastructure. It is a reliable and tamper-proof network, meaning you can use decentralization, uh, trusted nodes and premium data and various cryptographic proof to connect highly accurate and available data to any smart contracts out there. It is also built on a flexible framework that would allow you to get the data from any API and connect with any existing system and integrate with any current or future blockchains. It is a proven and ready-made solution, meaning it is time-tested Oracle solution that is already securing tens of billions in smart contract value for various DeFi apps out there. You can use their decentralized network, you know, to automate contracts to reduce the risk of manual interventions as well. Chainlink is an industry standard when it comes to Oracle network, meaning it would expand the capabilities of smart contract by allowing access to real world data and various computations which are located off chain while also ensuring that there is enough security and safety uh, to the blockchain technology. You can check out their developer guides if you want to start building on the Chainlink ecosystem. You can also join their open source community. They are located on Discord, Twitter, YouTube, Telegram and GitHub. They have multiple products. So we have market and data feeds, which is essentially a high quality data that is fed to the DeFi, you know, sports and other ecosystems. It is uh, very useful when it comes to securing the smart contract ecosystem using this data. And this data is essentially sourced from various premium and authenticated APIs that would be aggregated into a validated answer and also not just that it is a well maintained accessible and shared data resources so everybody in the community can get access to it this data is also fully transparent through their blockchain immutability which ensures that uh, there is you know access to any sort of audits when it comes to the data feed in real time through their multiple third party interfaces. This data feed would support all of the networks. It can be updated at a native speed and the cost of each chain. It is supported by one of the world's leading data providers. As you can see, we have CoinMarketCap, CoinGecko, Amber Data and so much more. Data feeds can be used for a variety of DeFi use uh, scenarios such as lending and borrowing, mirrored assets and stable coins. The other product that they have is VRF, which is a verifiable, tamper-proof, random number generator for various gaming and NFT projects. So essentially what it does is creates a number organically, which can be used to make uh, the system a bit more secure. You can protect your contracts and ensure that nothing can be manipulated simply by using the technology. This can also be integrated easily into verifiable randomness. You can use this feature for NFT platforms, gaming platforms, for ordering in progress or various entity selections. There are a lot of programs already existing in the blockchain technology that have used this system such as Axie Infinity, PancakeSwap and so much more. The other product they have is Keeper which is a decentralized cost efficient and very secure automation for the smart contracts. This feature allows you to get automation without having any sort of, you know, single point of failure or by reducing the risk when it comes to manual intervention. This also increases the efficiency by reducing the infrastructure cost and also it ensures extra layer of security is maintained. You can trigger your smart contracts so that they can execute automatically based on various times and schedule, you know, Oracle data, on-chain activity and things like that. 
The other product that they have is proof of reserve, which is autonomous, reliable and timely audits of on chain and off chain reserves. And then the last product that they have is the cross chain communication, which is global open source standard for building various cross chain applications using interoperability protocol. Chainlink has one of the largest collection of, you know, node operators in the industry. And when it is combined with various off-chain computation protocol, it will allow Oracle nodes to effectively achieve off-chain consensus. It is also secured by anti-fraud network. So that's really good. And it also provides a single messaging interface for various cross-chain communications. Currently, they have two ecosystems. So we have chain link ecosystem so when you click that you're going to come to this page so essentially it's an open source development and growing ecosystem for users so for any smart contract developers researchers security auditors they can use it as well and over here you can get access to various existing data and api services which is used by this network you can also sell your data with Chainlink. that would be really amazing because it will abstract away all the complexities you know around running different kind of nodes and handling cryptocurrency payments and that would allow you to monetize the existing infrastructure and focus on providing good quality data. It has been adopted by various leading data providers. You can also get participate and become a node operator, which is one of the backbone of this network. So running and maintaining Oracle infrastructure that will ensure that smart contract uh, across every blockchain have secure data of the highest quality. When it comes to data providers, you also have an option to sell your existing data and API to smart contract applications or any blockchain out there. So over here, you can see a little graphic that shows these are data providers and these are blockchain applications. So that's really good. It will allow you to unlock new revenue stream. You can sell your apps to any blockchain out there and you can also offer hyper reliable data and leverage proven infrastructure. Currently, Chainlink is priced at $6.97 and over here, when you scroll down, you can see the volume in the last 24 hours and when you scroll down a bit more on this section, you can see the 24 hour high and the low. If you take a look at the price over the last one year, you can see that we do have good periods of growth up until this point and after which the market went into a really long bear market. So we are currently situated over here. However, this project has a lot of potential to scale and grow in future because of the technology involved itself. So if you buy this project and in, are in it for the long run, I'm sure this project might be profitable. However, this is not a financial advice. So I always recommend you guys to do your own research. Over the past one year, the highest price chain link reach was $38 and right now it's $6.97. So I'm pretty sure that once we get out of this bear market territory, it will go to new heights. This is the Twitter page of Chainlink. They do have a following of more than half a million people. So that's really amazing. Over here, they make regular updates about new stuff they are working on. I really like Chainlink. I feel it's a great network, a lot of scope to grow in the Web 2 and Web 3 world. So definitely check it out. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to hit the like, comment and subscribe. I shall see you guys in my next one. Till then, take care. Bye.